The Bronx Opera opened its 2024 season with a program of two one-act operas, Il Signor Bruschino by Rosini and Johnny Skiki by Puccini. Both of these shows are about people who overcome other people who overcome other people's greed with cleverness and end up the good the good guys, even if the good guys use a little bit of uh, chicanery and lying, end up winning, and we end up as an audience feeling like the right people got what they wanted. We decided to set these two operas in the 1970s because it's a fun period, there's lots of color, and we could do a lot of really fun little funny jokes. I think as anybody that watches this on Bronx will see, it's pretty funny and people enjoyed it. 1970s, Rossini, Puccini, fun, and lots of color. As always, the company performed in English and it paired these two hilarious Italian farces which punished the greedy and rewarded the clever. Director of the opera was Ben Spearman, but the conductors were Michael Spearman for Signor and Eric Kramer for Johnny Skiki, who tells us more. Both stories have to do with confusion identities. And in Il Signor Bruschino, this Bruschino Jr. is slated to marry Sofia. Sofia is actually in love with someone else. And this someone else pretends to be Bruschino Jr. and tries to fool people and eventually tries even to fool Bruschino Jr.'s own father, Bruschino Sr., where he thinks he's going crazy. And then in the end, all ends well and the two lovers fall in love. I had the opportunity to chat with actress Alina Tamburini and asked her what it was like playing two different roles on the same night and why opera is so important. This was my first double bill, so it was really exciting to play two separate roles. Luckily, they're, they're kind of similar. They're both like after a boy, but deeply independent as well. Um, I really enjoy getting some downtime in between the two shows to do a nice little character shift. The costumes surely help, but I've loved preparing these roles. They're, they're super fun to sing. They fit so nice in the voice, which is very helpful. It's such a beautiful, beautiful art form. I think some of the best music comes from opera. It's still going on. Like, I know a lot of people think of opera, Mozart, Wagner, dead. No, there's so much opera still being created today by people my age, by people younger than me, by people older than me from all over the world. It's still quite contemporary. Even the production we did, it was written in, you know, hundreds of years ago but we had a 70s twist on it so it can make it relevant and more accessible to the communities that we're performing in. To learn more about Bronx Opera events, you can visit their website at bronxopera.org. Reporting for BronxNet, Chanel Thompson.